Hey YouTube, how you doing? Uh, so today's video is going to be about um, bearings and servicing your bearings, keeping them running sweet. Because if you neglect your bearings, uh, the balls inside the uh, the actual races and the ball bearings don't just wear out. You'll get play in there. And it can just be from riding on a beach or in sandy conditions or gritty conditions excessive jet washing all of that sort of stuff just blasts dirt into your bearings so it's got to be one of those jobs that you prioritize and you keep on your list um to keep on doing because you'll get more out of your bearings and uh, a longer life basically how you bike if you service these things so um what basically i've got here is uh just on the bench here a little setup an example of a few uh, bits and pieces uh, that's a headset bearing this actually I think is a bearing out of my uh, rear suspension um, assembly uh, that is the same sort of thing and I believe that is as well so lots of different bearings there um, there's also bearings of course in your bottom bracket um, there you go and this is sort of typically I've kept this one like this because I wanted to show you what can actually go wrong and you can see all the dirt and grime even though there was that sort of uh, protection baffle in there dirt's got underneath and uh, it's gonna work its way eventually underneath this little plastic uh, collar and into the bearings themselves so quick real quick rundown of how i keep things running fresh so i'm going to set the camera up and i'll be right back. um right i should just say actually i've got to uh, uh, take you through a rundown of uh, bits and pieces that i use to do this so i've got some degreaser some chain um cleaner this is biodegradable uh again citrus cleaner this also is uh, good for the planet um degreaser again water-based um sometimes you'll find that these just aren't good enough to get through the grease and to clean things effectively sometimes i'll use a little bit of uh, either white spirit or sometimes even petrol just cuts through that grease uh, but what i tend to do when i use those things don't just pull that down the drain or on your garden you know make sure you take it to your recycling place and get rid of that dirty stuff properly um you can pour that into a sort of oil can uh you know like a um a, an appropriate container and dispose of it safely there so uh what also i've got is some different sort of uh lithium based greases uh this one here is a, again red lithium brilliant for this is one that i'm actually going to be using the most of uh today in these type of bearings uh graphite grease and some copper grease which to be fair um it just helps seat these things back when you've uh w w when you've taken them out you don't tend to want to use that because it doesn't roll very well uh and lubricate it's more of a protection thing that one so right i'll um i'll set the camera up properly now as you can see we've got um a headset cup bearing here um what basically the principle is exactly the same with all of these type of bearing which basically um are sort of cycling type of bearings you're going to find these bearings in your um headset you're going to find them in your bottom bracket sometimes my brakes have actually got them on the brake levers um you know they're, they're all over the place but the the principle is the same you have this seal here that you can very gently now i hasten to add that these are all old ones that i've got here i'm just showing them these aren't actually off my bike i've i've replaced these because they're worn out now one trick that you want to see to wear them out hold that inner circle there and if there's any play you'll probably know this from when it's on the bike better from when it's on the bench here but you'll feel a little bit of play uh, between those. There shouldn't be any play, really, um, within those two circles. They should feel like a solid unit. Um, what you have to do is, is get a sharp implement 
down the side of that seal there and then just proceed to flick that out um, you'll find with these is that there's actually on the reverse you can see uh, once it's been cleaned <coughs> um, a little steel uh, these are metal um, you could take that and you could bend it in half so you need to be very very careful with these when you're cleaning them uh, really keep those with uh, treat them with kid gloves um, that's the top one uh, or the bottom one that's the first one I should say um, then flip the other one out it's being gentle because again you don't want to damage these because you are going to put these back together um, this blade I don't know whether you can see actually has snaps um, it hasn't got a point on it uh, so I am struggling a little bit with this but again you're going to be using a nice new blade uh, as to not damage your seal I'm making a bit of a mess of this nearly had it then there you go so those two are out what I tend to do is get a little cup um, container pop all your bits in um, then take some of your degreaser squirt that in and uh, you can see there the, um, it's actually doing its job already so I'm going to pop the um, bearing set in there as well bearing give that a bit of a wash around <clears throat> like I say eventually spin that around work all the stuff you can actually hear the the, the, the grit in here um, and you'll know once it's clean because it will run really nicely um, it'll feel smooth and uh, it'll run quite fast uh, like that so make sure that you get all of this what I'll do is I'll switch the camera off now because I'm just rabbiting while I'm doing this might as well do a proper job uh, get all that clean and you'll know when it's clean I'll come back and you'll be able to see all these individual bearings uh, in here and they'll all be nice and clean and guys um i've been away and i've cleaned that um as you can see and hopefully here let me just whiz that one more time we have a fairly free running uh ball race there uh the, you can you can see i believe the individual um bearings within there uh this actually uh, actual assembly has got a plastic um like race if you like to keep um the ball bearings in place uh sort of front and back um they often have those in the old days when i was a boy I used to take these apart those all used to be metal but obviously we've got more advanced uh, materials these days so basically um uh, that is now clean and uh ready for a little bit of grease thoroughly um sort of dried that and got rid of all the traces of um uh, cleaner because basically you don't want your cleaner diluting um diluting your lovely clean red uh lube here of grease so what I'm doing is, you know, I'm not moving the outside here of the uh, ball race, just the inner. And I've been all the way around now and just filled that up. i and keep it nice and neat, tidy, I hope you can see that. Been all the way around now and lube that up. Just use your finger. Maybe I should have gloves on, I don't know. How nasty this stuff is um, pretty sure all these things these days are have an element of water in them I'm sure they'll be okay 
not advising you to drink it mind you but uh do exactly the same thing here all the way around a bit of twist make sure all those bearings get coated your finger in there really smudge that around so what we will have there is fantastically coated ball bearing race so when I took these out actually I failed to say you might have one of these uh, seals that is bigger than the other um, in this case that is certainly true the um, outside one there is bigger than this particular one and I don't know you can see that now it's clean you can actually see the steel part there on the inside um, that is the inside uh, the black part there will sometimes be uh, some ID marks don't expect you to be able to read those but you know there's there's the dimensions or the manufacturers part code or whatever on there um, there we go and that is basically that you can reinstall that what i tend to do is get a bit of this really cheap grease um that is in pretty plentiful supply in this here handy tub probably had this about 30 years i'm not sure i'm not exaggerating i've had it for a very very long time um and just basically smear some of this on the outside of this uh of this seal um and that basically will just help weatherproof it a little bit give it an extra barrier so you know if you you do like i do jet wash my bike after every ride you know you're bound to blow debris into there so any any more um protection you can give it i think the better so you can hear that it's running quite nicely like I said, guys, these, these are old bearings uh, that I'm just using for il illustration purposes. But the uh, the principle, and I'll just show you on this one, is exactly the same to pop out. Um, I'm going to have to be careful because my fingers are so greasy now. Uh, there you go. As you can see, that particular one has got that metal race in there that I was talking about again just needs a real clean now these particular ones are off my uh, rear triangle of my uh, bike you can actually service these without taking them out of your bike uh, because you can quite easily see this part of the uh, front and back actually uh, this part of, of and you can just pop it out you don't even need to take these out of the, the uh, frame which is a bit of a nightmare getting these in and out of the frame let me tell you i've been there and i've done that and i won't be doing it again it'll be going to the bike shop um so again uh bottom bracket all you need to do is there's, there's a this particular one is a shram there's a there's a little retaining clip in there uh that we can just ring out i believe it actually needs cleaning quite a lot of this one uh before we even start messing with it i think but yeah there you go that's that's actually a retaining clip just to I think there might be a little seal or something in there no there's not um these particular bearings within this bottom bracket here um, i'm hoping you can see this it's gone a bit dark um these particular seals here i've got like a little uh lip on them a little flange uh which obviously acts as a bit of a seal uh again this is very old bottom bracket i'm just using this for illustration purposes but if you imagine that on the bike with your crank cranks off 
you can actually do this while the bike's on you don't need to take the bottom bracket off to do this I really advise that you take it off either um, and well, you can see this particular one has been on and off only three or four times but you do tend to damage the outer casing quite badly so again you just want to squirt around here let that soak in, let it do the job we're instantly here but that's um, uh, getting a bit free of movement killing off all that hard and old shitty grease um, as you can see will eventually with a bit of TLC come clean but again if you there's quite a bit of play uh, in this particular one. That's just what you want to check. I mean, just check, see whether there's any play beforehand with the cranks, with it in the casing. Um, if there is any play, you probably need to replace them, but there's no harm in, you know, just trying to re-grease them up um, and see how you get on. Uh, all of these bearings are fully replaceable. Um, you can... Uh, I won't repeat the process on this uh, because I don't really want to sew this any more uh, old bearings um, but the principle is exactly the same you pop that seal out and then you can you can do a pretty good job of cleaning so YouTube I hope that you found that useful it's a real quick easy maintenance job that Let's face it, it will keep your bike running sweeter than uh, you think. And it's going to save you money in the long run. It's just going to give you a... I've all fallen foul of this so many times. You know, you, um, you, just, you just keep on riding and you wear things out. Look after your things, they'll look after you. Um, particularly when you throw in like 120 quid at a new bottom bracket a nice hope one all the rest of it precision engineering amazing ball bearings some of these ball bearings are ceramic um incidentally you should use the appropriate grease ceramic grease in that situation i don't have any ceramic uh sort of uh, ball bearings in any of my bikes so i haven't got any of that grease but just just check them out beforehand um yeah, so I've, I've lost my train of thought now, guys, but, you know, just look after your stuff and it'll look after you. Um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if there's uh, any assistance or anything you need when viewing this. Um, please bang me a like because that always helps the sort of algorithm and helps other people find this if you find it useful i hope other people will as well so if you could like it uh, maybe even find time to uh, subscribe to some videos or to me um i'd really appreciate that thanks a lot guys